what you'd have to do is you have to build this little head on it each time, this little wire head. You'll make marks around here and you're trying to gauge and space your stitches as you go around. So what I have is, because this has a hex on it with six sides, I made a little uh, head pin that goes into it that has six sides on it. And you just insert it into the top and then you actually just start doing the stitching. You don't have okay. to do anything else. There is a little diagonal uh, hole drilled in there for an anchor. You put your wire into the anchor, press it down with your finger and hold it, and then you steady your hand here. My glasses on. All you have to do, there's six loops, there's six sides, you're going to put one loop on each side. Bring it, pull it around, and cross it over. I've marked there with a uh, permanent marker a line about a quarter inch from the top, that's where I'm going to put my first row. I like to hold my finger over the top, again I'm going over the top, I pull to the left, come across, and make that cross there, and I'll do that six times. I don't have to use all six loops on this. I can do it with four or five loops later on and just re-space them around there evenly. But if you're first learning, um, it's better to do it with the six loops. And it makes your uh, finished piece a little bit thicker. Too. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go around. So this creates my first row that I'm going to work off of. And from then on, the stitches, it's actually more of a weave than a, than a knit, I would say. Everywhere that this wire crosses, you're going to go underneath. The benefit of having a hex rod over uh, a dowel is that the hex has flat sides, whereas the dowel has round sides. So when I'm trying to get underneath this wire, it's easier to get under there if it's flat. Five minutes. This is your five-minute warning to finish up all transactions. And we thank you very much for making I go the under, annual B fest a success. Pull all the way to Again, the Again, B-Fest will be closing in five minutes. Down. So I'm going to build these as I go, and it will. This is what the raw Viking knit looks like. I'm going to draw that through a draw plate a number oh, okay. of times. I was wondering. Oh. And what happens is then it will end up looking like this. Great. So this is what the finished product looks like. That is really nice. Okay. And the kit comes with everything in it. It has the draw plate, the tool. These are my instructions. So it's very step by step. You have instructions there. And you can also make, um, on the end of the tool, there's a cone tool that you can make end caps with. When you do your Viking knit, you have to finish it off some way. Yeah. So this other little tool, you can make these little coils and put them onto the end and finish it off that way if you want to. So it makes it a little bit and easier. That's included in there? Yes. So it has this. It and the has instructions to that, too. The yeah. instructions. Um, and it has that coiling tool. I'm not sure where my coiling tool is. And it has a little uh, pouch that everything comes in. Like and it's $45 at the show. I'm sold out of them right now, but I'm shipping them for, 40, for a dollar, for $46. So if you'd be interested, you can fill out a form, or you can order them online. Online. And this, is, this is it right here. Uh, that's. If you want to order them here, then you would fill that out. Oh, Otherwise, okay. you can order them online. And you have a website. And yep, that's the website at the bottom. Great. Okay. And what's your website again? It's stephanieeddy.com. Excellent. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank that was great. a great demo.